Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. It's a beautiful winter's night here in North Florida, and today we're cooking up some seafood on some new cast iron. Ten and a half inch Stargazer cast iron pants. So y'all stay tuned. <music> So I know what a lot of you guys are saying, you're going to take that premium Stargazer cast iron pan and you're going to put it up on open fire. Yep, exactly what we're going to do. And that's where cast iron really performs and what it was intended to be used for. But it still works great on propane, it works great on induction, it works great on your regular electric stove or glass top, whatever you got, because it's so good at transferring heat. So tonight what we're gonna make, we're gonna make a beautiful uh, shrimp linguine with some chilies and spinach. Now, we caught those shrimp back in the summertime and I was checking my freeze in there and I'm like hey we got some of them nice ones there the biggest ones we picked out uh, and they need to be eat. so got them bad boys out and this is what we're gonna make with them so we got out our good old campfire rack there um, that we use camping and we got it on the lodge Dutch oven table tonight and we got that uh, a stargazer pan over there getting ready and getting uh, preheated want to keep a little flame going in here I've had some struggles tonight with some of the wood I just got some donated wood for me tonight but it seems like it's cherry wood and it really is not doing that great so I went over to the firewood pile and I got some some more and split it up in these small sticks small pieces like this like you'd use for kindling to start your regular fire because we're going to need those to feed into there to keep our heat adjusted so the reason i'm doing this tonight like this is to show you guys you can you can absolutely do this at camp while you're camping um and you know substitute this propane burner here for your campfire and then you're going to pull some coals off to the side here and use it on the little camp rack now you can buy these already made i made this one myself and in an upcoming video a lot of people have asked about this over the over the years that we've been doing this how to make this little campfire rack i recently came across some free steel the same kind of steel that this one's made from and we're going to be doing that in an upcoming video so equipment you're going to need for this dish a dutch oven and or a pot of some sort for your pasta uh, of course you're going to need a cast iron skillet again we're using the stargazer cast iron uh, 10 and a half inch skillet right now and that's become one of my favorites it is a super awesome awesome skillet um, and if you would like to check their products out please uh, go down into this the video description below check out the link I'm gonna put you down there and if you go over there and you actually decide to buy one of these you'll be supporting the Backwoods Gourmet channel so Dutch oven going there you're also going to need a bowl with a uh, colander or pasta strainer that's just for your pasta obviously you could do it without this fancy equipment um, but you're gonna need a way to strain your pasta I'm going to go over the ingredients with you right now for the tonight's dish. First thing you're going to need some shrimp. I had these previously frozen. These are some of the bigger ones that we caught down the St. John's River. Uh, right just a few miles from here. 
back in the summer I'm gonna throw you a clip up here of us catching those they've been uh, peeled deveined and then we're gonna do some more steps to them all right you're gonna need some spinach you're gonna need a couple of red chilies I'm using some uh, uh, porcini mushrooms or cremini mushrooms I think they're more accurately called they're marketed as baby bellas we got a lime a couple cloves of garlic a little bit of butter salt and pepper right there uh, you can absolutely use dry but tonight for time's sake we're going to use a fresh pasta uh, refrigerated I bought this at public supermarkets okay Here. now that you know what you're going to need to make this dish let's get after it going to go ahead and give this a since we're going to be cooking pasta in there I'm using pink Himalayan sea salt I'm going to give that about good three pinches most of that's not going to end up in the pasta so now that we got our salt and water going in there I'm going to go ahead and put that shrimp broth in there and this is really the big secret on not watering down the flavor of your pasta when you're doing a shrimp pasta dish no matter what kind of a shrimp pasta dish you're doing but I, I really like to infuse my pasta with some more flavor there is a little bit of cilantro and I'll leave it whole just like it comes out of the bag as long as it's nice and fresh and I do that because it's going to be easier to remove it later and then we may even use some for garnish so now it's time to start uh, preparing our veg today I'm using the Dalstrom Crisix uh, hybrid knife here today if you like to check out their entire product line I'm gonna leave you the link right down in the description we have our red chilies so we're going to go ahead and just take a few, we're going to take them all thin slices now. So here in the outdoor kitchen you are going to hear that fan running. If you want to see how we built this outdoor kitchen, we have an exhaust fan up here in the gable end that pulls the smoke out when we do stuff like this right here. So we got just, uh, you see we got just a little flame going there and we got little small pieces of wood that we've been adding. And that's how we're going to control our heat. I'm actually going to get uh, another one standing by under there and kind of use it to kind of nestle the coals up. But I want to go ahead and get a couple of them on each side uh, kind of nestled up in there right now just to get them getting ready to go in there if we need it. Alright, so we got kind of a little medium flame going out of there. I'm going to get that pan hot. This is our Stargazer cast iron. Now, I don't know if these guys, when they sent this over to me, really realized I was going to put it through the test, but it's not going to be no stranger to open fire. And if you like to see our unboxing video, when we took it out, I think the first time we ever used it was over an open fire or charcoal or in a grill I can't remember now but I'll post uh, I'll leave you a card up above there to see that if you're on PC you'll be able to see that so we're gonna go ahead and get a little bit of olive oil that's extra virgin I'm gonna get that ready and we'll start sauteing off our veg all right so first thing I'm gonna go in here with is mushrooms and that's at a nice 
low heat and those red chili peppers. I'm gonna go ahead and get them going. Well, they'll start getting hot. And you know, with uh, this kind of cooking, with this little rack we have here, if it's too hot, just set it over to the side. You know, if it's too cold, bring it back toward your flame. So right now, I'm just gonna ease it over here while I go get my spatula and my wooden spoon so I can keep that moving around. So now I got those softening up a bit. This, this takes absolutely almost no time once you get everything prepared, get your campfire ready, get your pan preheated, and that's going in with my garlic. And you definitely don't want too hot of a pan when you put that in, because if you burn that garlic, that's going to ruin the whole dish right there for you. I don't want to overcook any of these items, especially not shrimp. So right now I got that little bit of butter. That's about a teaspoon of butter. It's gonna give it a little richness. Okay. And our pasta water's been steeping with those uh, with that cilantro over there. So we're gonna check on that next. You can really see how much uh, tinge of green you have in that pasta water. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take out my whole pieces of cilantro. Just use my little dipper to get that out. All right, if there's any of the small leaves left in there, hey, that's even gonna make it better. So any of the small leaves, I'm gonna try to them back out of my dipper. I wanna leave them behind. But the stems and stuff, you might wanna just go ahead and get out. All right, because we're using fresh pasta tonight, so you're going to want to start this earlier if you're using dried pasta. But we're going to go ahead and get that up to a boil again. We've just been simmering it. So I'm going to turn that fire up. We'll get that back up to a boil. feeding those little small pieces up under there and the biggest thing I can tip I can give you on doing this and the, like you're going to do on a campfire using this uh, rack or whatever kind of rack you have you know they make those um, the pre-made ones you can buy from like Walmart or Bass Pros Academy Sports places like that that are made for cooking over a campfire is you gotta if you're just using a skillet like this just use the position of the skillet to keep moving um, your fire around even if your fire is not perfect and mine is definitely not the night okay uh, impromptu with the wood here I thought I had some great wood but turns out it wasn't as great as it looked but those veg are all nice and soft now so right now right at the end I got my veggies are all saute down really nice I want to go ahead and get a little bit of fire going that's why I had those two last couple sticks I had over there getting preheated that's gonna help them fire up faster and I'm gonna set them off to the side so I have my cool zone over here where my pan sitting right now but I'm fixing to put those cold shrimp and stuff like that in there so we'll give this a second and come up to a nice flame and then we'll finish up this part. Cabela, what's going on? Do you hear other dogs? There's lots of other dogs around tonight, aren't there? Yeah. Here are the neighbor's dogs. Do you want to say hi to people on YouTube? 
come on. So I've stoked up that side of the fire over here. I got my skillet over to the side. We always got our safe zone going on over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back over. Give it a couple of minutes. Maybe not even a couple. We're gonna go ahead and put our shrimp in right now, actually. I'll go ahead and put those right in there. Those are cold and they're gonna take a lot of that heat right out of that pan. That's why we need that, that heat going on in there. I'm gonna go ahead and if we need to, I'm gonna put a little bit more olive oil in there. But right now, I just wanna get them in there and get them soaking up. I want to stir them up in there real good too. Let them get some of that garlic, the olive oil, butter, the chilies, all that stuff is going to get a nice flavor into those guys while they're cooking. So, and it's been a struggle and to get that fire tonight for some reason, our wood's not the greatest, but you're going to have that same problem when you're out at camp and you're trying to replicate what you see here at the Backwoods Gourmet and you know that's just part of it and it makes uh, sometimes it's a challenge you know like it has been tonight I mean you see me out here blowing on this fire like 45 seconds on that hot fire. I'm gonna go ahead and put in about a cup of spinach. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw that in there. And right now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slide it off that hot fire over to the side. I'm gonna gently incorporate that spinach down in there. I gave it another little shot of olive oil. And now we need a little bit of seasoning. Okay. Notice we guys, we haven't put hardly any seasoning in this. Coming in about two good pinches freshly cracked black pepper. And uh, about two pinches of salt. I'm using Himalayan pink salt. Go ahead and give that a little toss. And we've pushed it off that fire. I do not want them shrimp to overcook. I just want to wilt this spinach down. So at this point, I'm gonna kind of keep it off the fire. Over here, just keep it warm. I'm gonna take it off here all together. And we split those shrimp so they are going to cook really fast. So we have our shrimp and uh, cilantro infused pasta water going there. I'm going to bring over my, I got my fresh linguine and I'm hoping I'm just going to try to do enough for you guys tonight. Do a little bit there, maybe a little more. And this fresh pasta does hardly take any time to cook. Only about two minutes.
that is a beautiful plate of shrimp pasta right there I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try for you guys and um, the some of the noise you hear in the background is the Coast Guard right now just FYI going out to look for a fisherman that fell out the boat today they found this boat driving in circles eventually crashed into a bridge been looking at for him all day 19 years old okay so you know we're eating seafood today that we caught right out down on that same river please guys wear your pfd uh when you're out there on the water let's give it a shot i'm telling you what that's some pretty awesome stuff right there oh i can't stop The chili, the the cilantro, the shrimp, the parmigiana reggiana we put on there at the end, all come through. A little bit of black pepper. The salt is perfect. Okay, and we took it easy on that. All right. Um. So, you guys got to try this at your camp. We, as you've seen during this video, we struggle with the fire that's going to happen to you when you're trying to do anything at camp i don't care if it's this dish or any other thing sometimes your wood's wet sometimes you don't have the right kind of wood you're going to have to you know sometimes struggle with it a little bit but if you persevere you can make a great dish just like we did here tonight so if you like what we're doing please hit that like button right down there you can subscribe to our channel right over here for another great backwards gourmet video it's gonna be over there and for a whole playlist of cooking in cast iron and dutch ovens gonna be right up there we'll see you next time